Video 4B, Deep Underground Concept, Part 1. Let's start with the Deep Underground Concept. For this demonstration, we chose to construct a 3-meter diameter underground structure of approximately 100 meters in length in hard rock without using concrete, heavy machinery, or excessive workforce. The picture illustrates the three steps of shaft construction according to the Deep Underground Concept. The first task is to drill a borehole of 100 meters in length and approximately 10 centimeters in diameter. A borehole of this length can be drilled within a week and would cost about 10,000 euros. The second step involves widening the borehole to a final diameter of 3 meters by removing small particles from boundaries and transporting them out of the borehole with fans or pumps. After completion, it is possible to drill another borehole from the bottom and repeat the entire procedure from a different base point. For conventional shaft construction, the excavation face is at the bottom of the shaft and remains the same in every phase. Excavation is carried out with an excavator. When using the deep underground concept for shaft excavation, the excavation face is the borehole's side wall, which increases as the borehole widens. Pumps or ventilators remove excavated material in the form of small particles. The process is similar when working on tunnels, but the direction shifts. The key difference lies in the approach to excavation faces. Let's explore the possibilities of a different approach. As previously mentioned, the average daily advance of a shaft is limited to about one meter due to safety and transportation concerns. Using the traditional method, a 100 meter deep shaft with a three meter diameter would take approximately 100 days to excavate. Conventional shaft excavation face is always the same. It's the circular shape of the shaft, and the area of the excavation face is 7.07 .07 square meters for a three meter diameter shaft. According to the deep underground concept, the excavation face is the perimeter of the current borehole multiplied by the length of the hole, 31.4 square meters, when the diameter of the borehole is 10 centimeters and nearly 1,000 square meters, when the diameter of the hole is close to the final 3 meter diameter. The deep underground concept addresses the main limitation of conventional construction, as shown in the graph. It allows excavation on a much larger area, over four times bigger at the beginning, and more than 135 times bigger at the end than conventional underground construction.